Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can evaluate any arbitrary abacus material model defined as INP commands within M calibration. So that's really easy. All you need to do is just select the abacus commands you want to work with. So you can see them on the screen. In this case, I have a simple star elastic and star plastic material model definition. I just select it all and I copy it to the clipboard by typing Control C. And I go over to my empty M calibration window. I go to set material model. And I scroll down to the section about abacus and I set abacus template. And in the window to the right, I just paste in with control V these abacus commands. You can see the same commands are written right here. And in this window, you can type in any abacus material definition commands. So I say, okay. And um, at this point, we see there is nothing defined uh, in terms of parameters here, it says abacus template. And that's really all that we need here. It's not a problem that there is no uh, parameters listed here. We can fix that and I will show you that in a minute. Uh, in order to run this though and see what's going on, I will need to create some load cases. In this case, I'm just going to use virtual load cases because that's simple here. If you don't have experimental data for this particular material anyway, so I'm going to pick a, a predefined virtual test case, three different tension loading modes, one strain rate. Uh, so let's take a look at that. I click OK. I get uniaxial tension, plane strain tension, and biaxial tension. Uh, I can now just click Run Once, and M Calibration will run these three load cases with the material model that's defined in this template. So let's just wait a second and see uh, for this to finish. Okay, it finished. We get these curves here. They look a little interesting and a little unusual, perhaps. We can see that there are three curves, three colors, and you can read from the legend what they are. And uh, that's all, all there really is to it, to using an arbitrary abacus material model. The one thing that's sometimes very useful, though, is to convert these uh, templates, these material parameters, into uh, numbers that we can optimize. So to show you how you do that, you go to set material model. And in our template here, we can now actually change this from a being a constant, 210.1 e to the 9. I can make it into a variable by putting a percent sign. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to just call it e for Young's modulus. And then another percent sign. This one is then, I'm going to call it PR for Poisson's ratio, percent sign. And then I can continue with this as well. So this is a yield stress. I'm going to call it S1. You can call it whatever you want. These numbers are not, the names are not important, but uh, you need to give it some kind of a variable name here. So it's going to uh, add variables names to all of these. So this will be E2. So see that they go together. And I'll do a S3 for the last one. And this is then E3. And here it is. If I click OK now, we will see that the parameters that we have are now defined here. We can say that if you want to search for some of these, you can search for them. Um, and that's how you can work with any template. You can convert it into something that MCalimation can optimize. If I feel like it, I can now rerun one of these just to show you. I'm going to remove the predictions here. And I click Run once. And uh, we'll wait for Abacus to run this test case for us. And there it is. That's how you do it, how you can use any Abacus material model and quickly evaluate what the stress strain predictions would look like using M calibration. Hope this was useful.